On his second day in Georgia, Pope Francis celebrated a mask in Mikhail Meski Stadium in Tbilisi. Before the ceremony, he crossed this unusual holy door that stood alone with no temple adjacent to it. It was a sign of solidarity with the Catholic community in Rastavi, a small town where the mayor does not allow construction of a Catholic church. One of the main themes for this trip was ecumenism, which suffered an important setback when an Orthodox delegation who was scheduled to attend the Mass on Saturday finally decided not to. They argued that as long as there are dogmatic differences between our churches, Orthodox believers will not participate in their prayers. This circumstance, however, did not prevent Pope Francis from delivering his prepared message. In a meeting with priests and religious people later that day, he said that trying to proselytize the Orthodox people is a sin. Un grosso peccato contro Il proselitismo. Amasquia proselitismi. Mai si deve fare proselitismo con gli ortodossi. Sono fratelli, sorelle nostre, amicizia. Megobroba. Camminare insieme. Ertaziaruli. Pregare uno per gli altri. Urtierti sacrificio. E fare opere di carità insieme quando si può. Daro de sacceiz leva. Ertat agasrulo sacolmo come do sacme. E questo è l'ecumenismo. Ai sari ecumenismi. Ma mai condannare un fratello o una sorella, mai lasciare di salutarla perché è ortodosso. During this meeting, the Pope also warned about gender ideologies and the threats they pose to marriage. Oggi c'è una guerra mondiale per distruggere il matrimonio. Ci sono colonizzazioni ideologiche che distruggono. Pertanto difendersi delle colonizzazioni ideologiche. In the afternoon, Pope Francis visited charity workers outside the Chameleon Center in the outskirts of Tbilisi, where they help both sick people and refugees from the conflict in South Ossetia and Abkhazia. He topped off his day with a visit to the beautiful Svieti Scavelli Patriarchal Cathedral of Mitzketa, the most important temple of the Georgian Orthodox Church, where he was once again joined by Patriarch Ilya II. There he witnessed this breathtaking rendition of the Our Father prayer in Aramaic, Jesus' language.